Welcome to another video by Enterprises Software Solutions, your number one software dudes. I want to walk you through how to upgrade Windows 7 uh, to Windows 10. The major prerequisite that I want to cover before we do that is just to make sure that your computer is up to date. So you're going to go, go ahead and open up the Start menu, launch the Control Panel, and then select the option for Windows Update. And if your Control Panel looks a little different than this, it may be because you have the view set to Category. And so here you can see uh, that my Windows 7 computer is up to date. So we're good to go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and launch uh, my internet browser. And you can do this in Chrome or Firefox or any other browser. So I'm going to do a search for Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. And we're going to select the first option here for the download Windows 10 ISO file for Microsoft. And on this page, it gives us an option to download the tool. And you notice down below, it also has the steps for how to upgrade this PC to Windows 10. So it's going to walk you through how to do that. And these are the steps that we're going to cover in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and download the tool. And in Internet Explorer, it shows a download down below. And I'm just going to select the option to run. And if you have the UAC enabled, it'll prompt you. Click on Yes. And now that we've got it downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and close Internet Explorer. And it runs a few setup tasks here when it first launches. So this may take a couple of minutes. And when it's done, the first thing it'll ask you is whether or not you accept the license. Feel free to read that. And once you have, click Accept. And then it'll run through a few more setup tasks. We'll give it a couple of minutes here. All right. And since we're upgrading the computer that we're running on, I'm going to leave the option selected for Upgrade This PC Now. I click on Next. And this is the step where it's going to go ahead and get Windows 10 completely downloaded. And depending on your internet speed, this may take a while because uh, it's a couple of gigabytes of information. I'm going to go ahead and speed up this process so we don't have to sit and wait uh, for the time it takes here at my computer. All right, and once it's done downloading, it runs through a verification process on that download to make sure that it downloaded correctly. And then it goes through and converts that download into usable media. So that's what it's working on right now. And again, this may take several minutes, depending on your computer. All right, and when it's done creating the media, it's going to relaunch. So no problems there as long as it comes back. And then it's going to run through and check for updates on your computer. And so this is where, as we checked ahead of time, I know that this process is not going to take very long. If your computer isn't up to date, it, it may take longer. So next part here, you see that it says checking your PC. It's just making sure that Windows 10 is going to work on your computer. And on this screen is where it's going to let you know that uh, you need to be a valid user to use Windows 10. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Accept, uh, since I already have a license for Windows 10. And if you are, and if you don't yet have a license for Windows 10 and you're looking for one, uh, be sure to check out our website, Enterprises Software Solutions. Uh, and there'll be a link in the description directly for an upgrade to Windows 10. And here, it's going to run through and check for updates again, uh, but this time for the Windows 10 installation. And then it's going to run through and make a couple of last checks. This is kind of a long process, I know. And here, by default, you'll notice that it's going to install Windows 10 Pro and keep personal files and apps. And the reason it's offering to install Windows 10 Pro is because, we, if we go to the System Properties page, uh, I'm running Windows 7 Pro. So if you're running Windows 7 Home, it will offer to install Windows 10 Home. So it's very important when you're buying a key and you want to do an upgrade, uh, that you match those additions. So if you've got Windows 7 Home, make sure you get Windows 10 Home. If you've got Windows 7 Professional, like I do, make sure you also get Windows 10 Professional. And there are other options here. So if we click on this option to change what to keep, uh, you can have it, uh, instead of keeping all your personal files and your applications, so if you've got apps installed, it'll reinstall them in Windows 10. 
Uh, you can have it only keep your personal files, so it's you know your videos, your documents, your downloads, that sort of thing. Or you can have it, uh, it keep nothing, and nothing will do a clean install. So if you want a clean, fresh computer, that's the way to go. Uh, but if you need to have your personal files backed up, make sure you select the appropriate option. So I'm going to leave this uh, Keep Personal Files and Apps option. Click on Next. And since the installer thinks I might have changed an option there, it's just going to run through and check for updates again. This one should be a little faster than the last one. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the option to install. And this process, like the screen says, might take a while. So this is definitely something that you want to do and then you want to go and take a nap. <laughs> or maybe go eat dinner, go to bed, I come back tomorrow, uh, that sort of thing. And this is all, this is going to be completely dependent uh, on your computer. Uh, this is And this is a process where I've seen it take uh, several hours. I've seen it take a day. Uh, it's Like I said, it's all very dependent on your computer. But I'm hoping that you're watching this video ahead of time so you know to expect this. Because uh, like I said, it might take a while. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and pause this video, and I'm going to pick it back up when the upgrade is complete. All right. So now I've gone home, spent some time with my family, ate dinner, went to bed, came back to work, and I got a Windows 10 computer up and running. And so what you're going to see after the installation finishes, what's called the out-of-box experience for Windows 10. Uh, so it's going to ask you to get your computer all set up. And I would encourage you to read through these privacy settings, determine what works for you. Uh, for the sake of this demo, I'm just going to leave the defaults and go ahead and hit accept. And that's about it. Uh, since all of my files and applications were moved over from Windows 7, there's nothing else I need to do. I will, however, show you how to check one thing, and that's to make sure that your computer is activated. So if we just go to the Start menu, go to Settings, and then scroll down here to the Update and Security option. And then on the left-hand side, I'm going to scroll down and click on Activation. And this is where you'll be able to see if Windows is activated or not. And so if you have a valid license, it will say that Windows is activated with a digital license, which you can see here uh, on my screen. And if for some reason it tells you that it's not activated or you need to activate it, then you can click the Change Product Key option here. And then you'll be able to input the valid Windows 10 product key. And remember to match that edition up above. You can see I've got Windows 10 Pro. So if I was purchasing one from Enterprises Software Solutions, I would make sure and get a Windows 10 Pro license. So that's how you can get Windows 7 upgraded to Windows 10 using the Media Creation Toolkit. Thanks for watching. And remember that Enterprises Software Solutions is your number one software dudes.